ハイパースピードメディア How you doing folks? I'm Jim from JPR Imports and uh, basically what we do is we specialize in RX-7s and RX-8s. Um, we have a first gen which is a old school uh, build that uh, we've done a lot of mechanical work to the engine and rebuilt it and put a billet motor in it with a custom intake and all of that making really good horsepower. Um, the car was actually built back in the 90s but the owner now is currently bringing it back to life to bring back a, you know the older style cars but uh it's a really good example of what they used to do in the 90s with wide bodies and we have greg's car here which is basically a um it's relatively a modified stock build where you'd probably gain about 100 horsepower with uh, high flow intake and exhaust the motor is currently still stock but um you know he's probably in the mid to high 300s at the wheels so not a bad build considering that it's generally still a stock car that's gained about 100 horsepower. So not a bad thing where the drivability is still like stock, but there's a quite a bit more power. Then of course you have Lens car, which is basically the previous independent rear record holder. This car has run as fast as a 780 at close to a, over 180 miles an hour. And uh, we're going to get our record back this year. You know, and of course, this is a full billet build with um, on methanol, probably close to about 1,400 at the wheels. How many rotor is that? This is a two rotor. Whoa, 1,400? Yep, yep. Two rotors? It's amazing what they can do these days. As a matter of fact, I think uh, they're probably closing on 2,000 horsepower now as far as the fastest two rotors, okay. you know? So what would be the, the main purpose of going, if you're getting that much power out of that, what the, be the main purpose going three to four to five. Now, now I've seen even some that six rotor. Really the advantage is, is that on a two rotor yeah. to make that kind of horsepower, it's a relatively high strung engine where you're running 20, 30, 40 pounds of boost to achieve a goal. Yeah. Obviously with the larger motor, you can do it. For instance, this thing makes just under 700 at about 16 pounds of boost on pump gas, where this one, you know, is obviously with race fuel, you know, full peripheral and all of that. So that's generally the difference. This is a high horsepower street car, which let's face it, these days with your Teslas and your GTRs, we're gonna to try to go for about a thousand horsepower with a street port and a streetable application with air conditioning. You get, make it a real street car. Now, the other one here is uh, Jesse Seven's car, which is generally what we call a, um, a basic full race build. That car will make about 800 horsepower. It's still an H pattern car. Um, it's a small tire car, so it's never been tubbed, and we're probably going to try to get it somewhere between eights and sevens and still make it somewhat a streetable car. 
And of course, then there's my little pickup, which uh, oh, I love that. It just found me one day and it showed up and it never went home. <laughs> I mean, obviously we lean toward the rotary end of it yeah. because for instance, we've done quite a few rotary Miata swaps. Again, okay. it's, it's an initial hundred horsepower right off the back. I'm actually in the middle of that. Okay. So you do that too as well. Yes, so custom yes. uh, you, uh, fabricated subframe and everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. Any kind of fabrication to get it in there. We, um, Basically, I have tuners, we have a dyno, we have anything you would need to build the setup. Okay. Uh, well, we're on Facebook or Instagram, so it's jprimports.com is the website, or again, JPR Imports on Facebook or Instagram. And uh, I'm not the fastest responder, but I always will. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, no problem. Yeah. All right. <laughs>
Uh, we did a custom exhaust on it. I did the MSD blaster coils. You know, you try to keep it, you know, looking vintage, but, you know, a little bit more reliable. Um, it's actually getting listed on Bring a Trailer on Monday. Oh, wow. So, you know, if it, you know, numbers get up there, it'll sell, otherwise I'll keep it. It's, I don't right, right, it, right. So, so this is before the B2000 era, right? Yes. Okay, yes. that's that's when these Mazda still have rotaries and the truck pickup. Yeah, and, uh, and a lot of people actually swap the B2000, and uh, a lot of the suspension, control arms, brakes, uh, people use as an upgrade for these. I haven't had a chance to do any of that stuff. Um, but I did a lot of work there. I did the suspension. All the control arms are all power coded, all new bushings, new shocks, ball joints, uh, tie rods. Uh, basically, everything I could find to replace to make it a little more, more, more comfortable in the street, I did. So if people were to reach out to you, how could they find you? Uh, just email me, uh, ihor at irperformance.com, I-H-O-R at irperformance.com. And is that the Instagram also? or uh, Instagram is irperformance. Okay, gotcha. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So another amazing Rotary Spirit USA event. Thank you so much, Hyperspeed Media, for capturing the gorgeous shots of the track. The cars around here. We also have Buy with Camera around taking photos. Stay tuned for some of those. But we're just so grateful for all of you. We're grateful so much for everyone here. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors so much. We would not be able to do this event without them. It costs money to get stickers printed. It costs money to purchase flags. It costs money to basically do all of this. This is a free event, but it's only free because of the support of our sponsors. I'm going to read the list of sponsors now. Atkins Rotary, Dark Star Coatings, Dread Tech Performance, Extreme Rotary Works, JP3 Motorsports, who's actually right here. JPR Imports are actually here as well. Renewable Lubricants, Rotary13B1.com. They actually gave us a bunch of merch that people love. RX Lights, have those lights on my car, they're fantastic. Sake Bomb Garage provided some merch for us as well in previous years, as well as this year, we have some over there now. South Bay Fuel Injectors. Look, South Bay is known for the fuel injectors they put in drag cars and race cars. We thank you so much for your support. As well as Vapor Hone, also owned by JP3 Motorsports. If you're restoring a car, rotary, non-rotary, doesn't matter. They're the folks you want to go to to get your stuff Vapor Hone nice and clean and beautiful. We could not do this event without our sponsors. We could not do this event without the support of EMRA. We're here with EMRA at New Jersey Motorsports Park. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. God bless you. We appreciate you so much. All right. One, cool, one last question. Are, yes. you, are you doing anything for Sevens Day? Uh, Sevens Day will be up in New York. Yeah, we're gonna go up to Prime Sevens Day. Yep, we go up there, we're gonna meet up, and then we're gonna go through the city just like every year. Perfect. So see you at Seven Seven as well. Hyper Speed Media. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta get me on camera anyway. How's it feel with the lifted Miata? You know what? You can't get a Miata now? I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this fills me with confidence with the rubbing and everything, but uh, we were driving off road. Ignore the rubbing part. Oh, without the rubbing, I love it. It's okay. so cool. All right, there you go. You heard from him, he's gonna get one.